to follow up on how we spent our weekend. We spent it in Florida, where we've learned that every vote counts and every vote is often or could be recounted in a presidential election. We met a new generation of Jewish voter that converged on Florida over the weekend to try and convince an older generation to swing the election, but in a very unique way. What can bring a Jewish grandchild even closer to his grandparents? Well, there's the Simcha, there's the Nash, and now there's the Great Schlep. I'm making this video to urge you, all of you, to schlep over to Florida and convince your grandparents to vote Obama. It can make the difference. The Jewish grandparents here in Florida are a vital constituency and they need to come out strong for Obama. So there's no one that the grandparents love any more than their grandchildren. For the last month, that's the message comedian Sarah Silverman has been pitching in this widely watched online video. If you knew that visiting your grandparents could change the world, would you do it? Of course you would. Taylor Magenheim, one of many schleppers, came all the way from Los Angeles to Florida to talk Obama. He has shown great judgment. With his Bubby and Zadie, also known as grandparents Sandy and Sid. I'm not quite sure yet about all the things that have been said by yeah. Mr. Obama. But can talking with grandparents be an effective political strategy? If you're going to persuade somebody, it's not going to be direct mail, it's not going to be television commercials, it's going to be people interacting with one another face to face. Schlepper Ari Kushner from Brooklyn, New York, tried just that with his 80-year-old grandmother Mary. We thought about his plan versus McCain's plan, we talked about taxes, and I mentioned how great he was actually for Israel. But when that wasn't working, he pulled out all the stops. To be working. What did seem to be working is the fact that she really wants me to get married. So I realized that if we are in a dead heat and she voted for Obama and Obama wins, I said we would get engaged the next day. Why wouldn't have you just agreed to vote for Obama without forcing him to get married? Because something is for something. <laughs> Where is your girlfriend on all of this? Oh, she's a beautiful girl. Oh, I, yes, I no doubt that she's, she's a beautiful girl. girl. She's a beautiful girl. Yes, I, I, I <laughs> intelligent, know, yeah. intelligent, smart. He is not easy. So forget the stump speeches in the big crowds. This election may all come down to a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a grandson. If they vote for Barack Obama, they're going to get another visit this year. If not, let's just hope they stay healthy until next year. <laughs> that is hilarious. Well, and something you know, for something. Well, oh, it, what's remarkable, guys, is that depending on who you speak to amongst the older Jewish Americans in South Florida and Palm Beach County as well, some say it's going to be a nail biter. Others say they think it's going to be a landslide in one direction or the other. So it is up for grabs right now. It's a real coin toss.